I did my hair for you guys today. Isn't it beautiful? I'm uh, transplanting plants today. So these are the plants that I started in my classroom that you guys saw. And uh, I'll put a handful, small handful of sterile uh, potting soil. And I sterilize it, as you guys know or remember, from my wood burner. So I put um, various uh, organic matter, compost, uh, old potting soil. I'll mix that all together. I put it in a steel container and put that in my wood burner for 12 to 24 hours. And that sterilizes it. Then I put in this is uh, for my compost pile and I got thousands of worms in it so I'm not sure I'd call it vermicompost, verma meaning worm um, or worm castings but it's pretty doggone close. So that's got a lot of nutrients in it. I put a, a, or a vessel over that mound so it doesn't get, it's got plenty of moisture. Uh, if I let the rain hit it all the time, it washes all the nutrients out in the soil. So I keep it covered so that all the nutrients go in here. And then sometimes I'll use this stuff in a big pot. Um, this is basically wood chips that are 10 years old and is turned turning back into soil, but good organic matter. Um, but on the top, I always use that sterile potting soil. And when I say it's sterile, yeah, it kills some of the good uh, bacteria and fungi and such. Uh, but the real thing is, um, if somehow weeds get in my compost pile, those weeds can last forever, years and years and years. So by sterilizing it, sterilizes any seeds so that I can use it as a seed starting mix. And the seeds that come up are the seeds I want to grow. Uh, so far this year, in all the plants I've done, and you see, I mean, dozens of them right here, I've probably only had maybe uh, 10 weed seeds kind of come up. And, well, I should say weeds. The definition of a weed is any plant you don't want. So it may have even been a pepper seed or a cantaloupe seed, who knows what. And then always, right away, get your label in there. Don't assume you're going to remember. Uh, whenever I've got um, uh, a set that I don't remember or the tags fell off, usually I just give away those for free. Because the last thing someone wants is, oh, I bought a, you know, a giant beefsteak tomato and it turns out to be you know, tiny little uh, yellow um, cherry tomatoes or something like that. What's over your shoulder to the your le your right? To my right. My right over here. Oh, that's my uh, windmill aerator. So uh, when that turns, uh, there's a little uh, pump in there, and that actually pumps air out into my pond. So if you see the uh, yellow buoy, that's a genuine lobster buoy. Um, on the bottom of my pond is about a 12 foot across or 12 inch across. Uh, it's like this rubber membrane with tiny slits in it and it aerates the pond. Right now that reached the end of its life and I actually just got from the Amazon uh, a new one of those aerators. Uh, but I need to get that going. So anyway that uh, raises um, water from the bottom to the top so it circulates uh, the pond so it kind of gets this circulation going so it creates um, oxygenated water from the bottom to the top. Uh, that is very good. Uh, when you have fish kills often it's not enough oxygen. When you have what? Huh? A fish kill? Oh you get the uh, fish kill. Yeah so if you're uh, if you don't the water doesn't turn over even wind aerates the uh, the pond. But in the summer, like when we have 90 degrees uh, for five, seven days, it gets really warm and um, oxygen doesn't hold warm water. And then, you know, if you don't have this circulation, you get a fish kill and that is bad. That's it for today. Should they stay tuned for the polar plunge? Oh yeah, we got a polar plunge coming today, I think, as long as there's no lightning. <laughs>